Welcome! This tutorial will show you how to create wikis in Blackboard. We'll cover creating and adding a wiki to a content area, uses of a wiki, and how to grade a wiki. Wikis can be added right to the navigation menu of your course, but in this case, I'm going to add it directly to a content area so that when my students need to go to the wiki during a specific week, they'll have a link right there. In my assignment folder, I'm going to click on week 3, and then I'm going to click on tools and go down and click wikis. Now I already do have a wiki in this course, but I'm going to create a new one. And all I need to do is give it a name. You could use your wikis for a number of different things. In this case, I'm just going to do one for chapter discussions, just to give students a place to go, post notes from the various chapters we're going to cover. You can actually set date and time restrictions. I'm going to leave the wiki open and available. You have two options for wiki participation. You can close or open them both. And one is student access, and that's for editing and I do want to be sure students can edit, and for comments. Students can also comment on the wiki, so they can give feedback, but not edit the actual wiki page. And that can be helpful as well, so I'm going to leave that open right now too. If you were going to do this as a graded assignment, at the end you might actually close it to editing and commenting after you've graded it, Students will still be able to see it, but they won't add or change anything. You don't have to grade a wiki, but I am going to set this one up for grading, just so that you can see how it works, and I'll show you how to grade a wiki later. If you use the needs grading area, you can keep this box checked and determine the threshold. So. Maybe I want to be notified after a student has saved five different pages. And then just click Submit. So I have my new wiki page, Chapter Discussions, and this window wants us to add a link to our content area. So I'm going to hit Next. And then this is the actual link information. So I can just tell my students Please click on the link above to add your just like all of the other tools and items that you create in Blackboard you can select whether it's available or not and you can also turn on to track the number of views I'm just gonna go ahead and click submit and now my wiki's been created You'll see this is the icon. It's just five different colored pages. I'm going to turn edit mode off so you can get a sense for what students will see. And if I click on the title, the wiki is currently blank, so it wants me to go ahead and create a wiki page. Similarly to how you create discussions and you always create that first thread to get the conversation going, it's a good idea to also create an initial page for your students to start off. I'm just going to hit submit. I don't want to add a whole lot to this page. Now I've already created a wiki in a different folder and I added some comments and did some editing with the student login so you can see how to grade it. So I'm going to go into my week 2 folder and click on definitions to show you this wiki. And this was just an area to post definitions and facts about a certain topic. In this case I chose Michigan. And you'll see we have some fun facts here. Michigan State Bird is the Robin. And Robin's actually linked to another page. And at the bottom, Michigan State Reptiles, the Painted Turtle, that's also linked to. And if you look on the side here, 
those items are links over there. So if I click on Painted Turtle, it'll take me to a different page. And this Painted Turtle link here will actually open up a website, which gives you some more information and a coloring book page on the Painted Turtle. So I'm going to go back to this main page. I'm going to click Edit Wiki Content to add something to it. And your students would have the same button and the same options. So let's say we wanted to add another fact about Michigan. I know the Wolverine is something for Michigan, but I'm not exactly sure what. So I'm going to put it in here. The nice thing about a wiki, depending on how you set up the activity for your course, is that students can actually go in and edit each other's work. So if I'm wrong, then hopefully someone will catch that and edit it. Now I'm going to turn edit mode back on and show you how to grade a wiki. The one thing students wouldn't see is this participation and grading button. If you've set a wiki to not be graded, it will just say participation over here. But if I click on there, you'll see I have two members here. These happen to be the only members in this course. One is me, so I can't give myself a grade because I'm actually an instructor. And then I have a test student and you'll see there is a little icon indicating that they've started on the wiki. So if I click on the test student's name, I can actually go ahead and here I can click on edit grade and give them a grade as well as some feedback. Feedback will actually go to a student and they will see it in their My Grades area. Grading notes, on the other hand, is information for you. So if you wanted to make a notation but you didn't necessarily want your students to see it, maybe you gave someone an extra point and you want to remember why, that's what grading notes is for. If you hit save grade, it'll save it, show it here, and then your student will also be able to see their grade. Now what we're looking at here as well, this is all of the activity just by the test student. So the page and the version number, and then how many words that they changed on that page. That gives you a sense of how active they've been on the wiki. So that's how to add a wiki and how to grade it.